Hello boys and girls, nice to see you. Well today I'm going to read a story by Janet and Alan Alberg. They've written hundreds of stories for children. This one is called Bye Bye Baby and it's about a baby who lived all by himself. Let's have a look inside. Bye bye baby. Oh look, the baby's opening the door. I wonder how he reaches the handle. There was once a baby who had no mummy. This baby lived in a little house all by himself. He fed himself and bathed himself. He even changed his own nappy. It was very sad. You can see here, can you see he's changing his own nappy? He's washing up, but he has to stand on a chair. Then, one night, when the baby was putting himself to bed, he thought, I am too young to be doing this. I need a mummy. So early the next morning, the baby left his little house, Bye Bye Baby, and set off down the road to find a mummy. The baby could not walk far without resting. He could not walk fast without falling over, but he kept going just the same. After a while, the baby met a cat. Can you see, there's the cat. This cat was sitting on a wall washing herself behind her ears. I am a little baby, said the little baby, with no mummy. Will you be my mummy? No, but I will be your cat, said the cat. If you will pour me a saucer of milk now and then. Also, I will help you to find your mummy. She could pour me some milk too. So then the baby set off down the road, bye bye baby, with the cat beside him. There they go. They had not gone far before they met a teddy. This teddy was sitting under a tree having a picnic. I am a little baby, said the little baby, with no mummy. Will you be my mummy? No. But I will be your teddy, said the teddy, if you give me a cuddle once in a while. Also, I will help you find your mummy. She could be my mummy too. So then the baby set off down the road. Bye bye, baby, with the teddy and the cat beside him. Off they go. They had not gone far before they met a clockwork hen. There's the clockwork hen. This hen was scratching in the dirt at the side of the road and clucking to herself. I am a little baby, said the little baby, with no mummy. Will you be my mummy? Cluck, cluck, said the hen, which meant no, but I will be your clockwork hen if you promise not to overwind me. Also, I will help you find your mummy. A mummy is a hen's best friend. So they say. So then the baby set off down the road, bye bye baby, with the clockwork hen and the teddy and the cat beside him. Mm. They had not gone far before they met an old uncle. This old uncle was sitting on a bench reading a book. I am a little baby, said the little baby, with no mummy. Will you be my mummy? No, but I will be your old uncle, said the old uncle, if you don't waken me up in the night. Also, I will help you find your mummy. Everyone needs his mummy, even me. So then the baby set off down the road, bye-bye baby, with the old uncle and the clockwork hen and the teddy and the cat beside him. There they go. They had not gone far before the trouble started. The baby tripped over and bumped his nose. The teddy tripped over and bumped his. Both of them fell on the hen. The old uncle tried to help, but only trod on the cat's tail. Worst of all, the sky grew suddenly dark. 
and it began to rain. The baby sat on the ground and also on the hen. I want my mummy, he cried. He wants his mummy, shouted the old uncle. Mummy, shouted the cat and the teddy. Cluck, which meant mummy, shouted the hen. I want my mummy. Oh dear, what could the old uncle do? Just then, round the corner came a lady pushing a pram. Did somebody call, she said. I am a little baby, cried the little baby, with no mummy. There's a coincidence, said the lady. I am a mummy with no little baby. You could be made for each other, said the old uncle. Then the baby said, will you be my mummy? And the mummy said, yes. And look. Mummy's being very kind, picking up the baby. After that, the new mummy picked up her new baby, wiped the tears from his eyes and gave him a big kiss. With the rain falling faster, she put him in the pram and led the way up the road to her own little house. As they hurried along, the teddy said, Will you be my mummy too? Over and over again. The cat said, Do you have any milk in your house? And the hen said, Cluck. Which this time just meant cluck. She was still dazed from being sat on. In the house, the mummy gave the baby a warm bath and a dry nappy. The old uncle made a pot of tea. The teddy opened a pack, a packet of ginger biscuits. All of them sat together in front of the fire. Here's the fire. They look very cosy. The cat looks like it's falling asleep. The old uncle sipped his tea and turned the pages of his book. Read us a story, said the baby, as he snuggled up in his mummy's lap. What sort of story, said the old uncle. A sad one, said the cat. With a happy ending, the mummy said. Right, said the old uncle. Then, with the firelight flickering in the room and the rain still rattling on the windows, he began to read. There was once a baby who had no daddy. Mm. The baby's eyes grew wide. I am a, a baby who has no daddy, he said. There's another coincidence, said the cat. The baby clambered down from his mummy's knee and headed for the door. He's off to find a daddy, the teddy said. After that, the baby set off down the road, bye-bye baby, with his mummy and the old uncle and the teddy and the cat and the clockwork hen beside him. And by and by, the baby met a horse. Will you be my daddy? And by and by, the baby met a rabbit. Will you be my daddy? And by and by, the baby met a daddy. Will you be my daddy? And the daddy said, yes. So look, there's the daddy, there's the mummy and all the rest of the family. The end. And it looks like they lived happily ever after. There's the back cover. I think that's when the baby was living alone. And that's the back and the front cover. And the front cover, which shows the baby hanging out, washing to dry. Bye Bye Baby by Janet and Alan Alberg. What a wonderful story. I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>